Hey guys, Ryan here for Demo Play. Um, another tutorial for uh, Flame in Your Hand. Um, this time it's inspired by Ghost Rider 3. Yeah, number 3. Okay, uh, so let's get started. You might want to port, like, uh, let's. Well, I've opened After Effects. I've got my video and I've got my animated blue fire. Unfortunately, something went wrong with my um, rendering system and everything, and my fire kind of turned a bit purple. Um, but that's okay, because I'll fix that later, and, um, I'll just get on to, with the tutorial, you know, so, we just have to deal with my fire being purple, um, I don't know what your fire looks like, but, if it's purple, I don't really know how to fix it, because it's kind of a pain in the ass, but, um, I'll, I'll fix it. Okay, um, well, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is, this is important, actually, no. First thing you're gonna do is rename it Flame. Actually, let's emphasize it. Blue flame. Oh well mine's purple. And rename the bottom one layer. And now the blue flame must always be on top. Now with this, this can also be a, a moving picture or a uh, like a animate a moving video or an animated picture. Animated video animated picture. Mine's an animated picture. But um that's okay. That's okay. Um so when if you did my the video like mine, I open my hand and then I like your video might stop there or something, but my video I end it by just like throwing it away. So you want to get to the point where your hand basically just starts to come away and get the end of the video there so say it's like that and then goes away just make sure it's perfect timing you know I might wanna actually uh, okay that's good um, alright so uh, next what you wanna do you just wanna shorten it um, select all of them and move them to the start. This just cleans up your selection and just makes it a bit easier. Next thing you want to do is you want to go effects. Uh, then you want to go actually. Not sure you want to go effects. Let's have a look. Blur. Sh yeah. Okay. So you want to go effect, blur, and sharpen. And then click box blur. Now, as you can see, it, it is. I uh, just click off it. It is boxy, so you want to click on that, and then go to blur radius, and then you know it just blurs it out a bit. That kind of looks cool. Woof. 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 Okay. Um. Let's get so. Alright, that's ish. Alright, now you want to actually, you want to, after you do the box blur, you're going to parent this to the layer. So you can either click this swirly thing and drag it to the layer, or you can click here. It will we'll do the same. Now you want to click G or the pen tool. Then you want to start doing this. Like, as in, you're kind of doing that. Um, after that, you want to just kind of shape it into your hand, in a way. And then, so it's kind of like that. And then you want to, so, no, yeah, we'll leave the box blur. But now it's a bit, oops, it's a bit, you know, it's not the best, say. So, so, you want to kind of form, uh, morph it into your hand. And let's, uh, let's go to, um, Blending mode, no. 
x. Just trying to find it. Um, you don't have to do this, but transform. Um, rotation. And you just want to go like one, two. No. Okay, let's say about. We'll go 10 degrees. Okay, um, it's not gonna work. We'll go. Um, we'll go. Okay, let's go 90. Um, transform. We'll go. Okay, uh, shift command R. We'll go another 90. Oops. So shift command R. Okay, so 90 again. It's not working. Okay, uh, let's, let me think. 180, okay. We'll go 180. Uh, 90. Oops. Um, 270, sorry. Okay, um, now let's go 290. Actually, alright, that's good. 331. You can just do that originally, actually. Alright, uh, there we have that. Now, you want to actually, we'll go uh, effect, blur, and sharpen, fast blur. Just want to go, oops. I really just do that? Okay. Make sure you clicked on this. Effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. Alright, now that's gonna take a bit away. Um, now you wanna, once you click that, okay, you wanna go under here, make sure you do that. And then you wanna go F, and then you wanna go feather. And you just wanna feather it out a bit. So it doesn't look too weird. Uh, so that's what makes it look more fiery. Area. Um, you know what? Let's just take this in a bit. So it's really like more, way more realistic than it would. Alright. Um, and so there we have our beginning of it it's it's okay all right so let's make sure yeah that's good and then you just want to go all right hang on let's watch it all right Let's trim it to about when I just get out of there. It's a bit easier. Alright, and there we have it. Um, I actually think that's it. You can do a bit more than I did. Effects. Because um, I didn't really do it as well as I was hoping to do it. But, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. I mean, like, it's not the best thing to do. Um, let me just do this. Let's do that. Now let's go, let's have a look at this. Uh, hang on, hang on. Fix. Um, I don't know where that is. Oh, it's, okay, never mind. Alright, uh, Smoke. Here we go. Okay, so you want to go to backgrounds. Click smoke rising. Click on that. All right. So as you can see at the moment, it'll just be like kind of weird because it'll be like that and a bit awkward. Um, hang on. We'll just actually. Where's 
the uh, smoke on. Try and find that. Or oh, just come and quit it. Um, synthetics, I think it might be. No, that just makes it look shite. Alright, um. No, I didn't think so. Alright, well, that's it, basically. Um, yeah, so. I we need to save it. Uh, that's it. Here it is. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Well, you wouldn't really enjoy it. Maybe. You did, maybe you didn't. I actually hope it really helped. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, so... I'll just save this. Flame blue. Alright, um... See you next time.